Hey everyone, we're glad to have you back here with us at Somerset Place. We're continuing our series about the enslaved community in 1843 by focusing today on the Chloe Drew Bennett home, which was the 10th slave dwelling that likely stood in the area you see here. A total of 12 enslaved persons lived in this house that only had about 300 square feet of regular living space. This included Chloe Drew Bennett, age 49, and six of her children, 28-year-old Kitty, 24-year-old Virgil, 20-year-old Jacob, 19-year-old Jim, 17-year-old Molly, and 15-year-old Millie. Also living with them were Kitty's husband, William Penny, who was the same age as her, and their children, Emily, age nine, Phoebe, age six, Augustus, age three, and Penny, age one. William was the son of Penny Gray, which explains his recorded surname, and he worked in the Collins home as a house servant. Unfortunately, we don't know much else about Kitty and William's family, but we do know more about the Bennetts. Chloe was born on May 2nd, 1794 to Kitty Drew, who had four known children. Chloe was a midwife who assisted other enslaved women in childbirth, so she was highly trusted among the enslaved community. She later married Jack Bennett, who was enslaved at the adjacent Pettigrew plantation known as Bonarva. The enslaved communities at Somerset Place and Bonarva were closely intertwined, and many people at both plantations chose partners from their neighboring communities. Since a child's legal status passed from the mother, Chloe's children were held in bondage at Somerset Place rather than at Bonarva with their father. Chloe and Jack had at least eight children, including the six we mentioned earlier, who were recorded in 1843. Their eldest child, Washington, and their other child were not listed anywhere on that inventory, but we know that the other child passed away before 1839. At the same time, Chloe's family at Somerset Place was inherited by Anne Davies Collins and her husband, William Biddle Shepherd. Nothing immediately changed for the Bennett family, but after disagreements with his brother-in-law in 1846, Shepherd sold the family to Charles Pettigrew at Bonarva. The Bennetts could now live with Jack, but William Penny was not included in this sale. Regardless, enslaved people at Somerset and Bonarva had freedom of movement between the two plantations on their own time, so Chloe's family remained active communicants in the Lake Chapel. In 1850, Dr. Hardy Hardison visited Jim, Molly, and Millie several times, including to care for Molly and Millie's children. Three years later, Josiah Collins III paid Charles Pettigrew $4.50 when Chloe provided, quote, services to women at Somerset Place, which is how we know that she was a midwife. Unfortunately, though, we don't know what happened to Chloe or her family after that time. Whether they lived to see emancipation is unknown, but we do know more about the enslaved persons who lived in the house next to the Bennetts back in 1843, and we'll discuss their families on our next video. So to make sure you know when that's posted, click the subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.